Welcome to this hip Pilates session today. We're going to start with a warm up. Then we have three blocks with pulse focus and three blocks with strength focus. The first block we have in all of the blocks, we have four exercises. The work frame is going to be 50 seconds on and 10 seconds for the next one. So with that four different kind of exercises, only doing for one round, it will turn into a block of four minutes. So the first block, we have the four different kind of pulse focused core exercises, and then we're going to move on to a core and ab focus strength exercises block. So four minutes pulse, four minutes of strength, only using body weight exercises. Then we're going to move on for some lower body. First, the pulse exercise for the four minutes with four different kind of exercises, and then the strength uh, block with the four different kind of exercises, and ending up with uh, upper body focused with uh, pulse first, and then strength afterwards. So don't worry about the setup. I promise to guide you. Just do remember we're only going to do each of the four exercises in each block for one round. So pushing yourself as hard as possible for those 50 seconds and the 10 seconds for the next exercise for that single round. So first doing pulse exercises in the same targeting area and then we're going to do strength exercises. So three different kind of blocks with pulse and three different kind of uh, exercises blocks with our strength focus. Only equipment you'll need, your own wonderful working body, good set of shoes and an exercise mat. I got my timer for the 50 seconds on and the 10 seconds for the next exercise doing that one round. It will make sense, I promise you. It sounds a little bit confusing, but I like to tell you what you're going through so you can put your mind into it. So you can equip your equipment and we're gonna do the warm up. We are ready for the warm up. So we're going to start out by staying up in a nice straight position, engaging our core, and we're going to lift each leg up and engaging our core. So opening up in our hip area and activating your glute. So pulling up and back again. Nice straight position. And we're going to pull arms down and bring it down, engaging your upper body as well. Chin is in, chest is up, and engaging your core. And pelvic flow so let's pull it back here and in again four more on each reaching down that was one and bring it up that was two and three and one more on each side then we're gonna do some jogging on the spot so lifting up on our toe Open up in our ankle joint, inhaling and exhaling. So lifting up, we're gonna do a little bit more of a distance between our legs and we're gonna use our arms up here to elevate our heart rate and pushing it into a kind of a twist. So make sure you get up on your toes and do the twisting so you don't get stuck with your feet on the ground. So pushing and pulling. We're gonna bring arms up and still do that twisting. You're kind of massaging your spine every time you do the twisting up and down. Inhale and exhale, bouncing, bouncing. We're gonna do a little double up, double up and double up. Bouncing from one side to the opposite for four, reaching up three and two, and up in speed, up in tempo. Still do the twisting, open up for eight and seven, chin is in, and go for four and three and two, and kicking front. So bring it up and kicking, still bouncing, and maybe you wanna go a little bit less of an intensity here. So pulling leg and forward, heel up, and kicking forward. Arms are moving from one side to the opposite. Yep, kicking, straightening, and kicking out to the side. Arms are falling along with that leg out to the side. And you can always go here, bouncing on the spot. But you should try to be effective on your breathing. Get that blood floating around in your body. Keep legs going. And we're going to go up and down with our arms. Challenging you a bit on the coordination. But you can always do whatever you want to do with your arms. Just feel the way. Affecting. And heels are coming down. And we're going to push it up. And we're going to go a little bit more low and we're going to do some rotation. So in, 
twisting around that spine and bring that elbow up bouncing in your legs bouncing bouncing lifting and bring it up chin is in do remember that please easing off your neck up we go and you might wonder and say to yourself how in the heck does she know what i do with my chin because i know it when i teach in my group classes sometimes people tend to get the chin forward and then they come and say to me that they have a headache so let's avoid that circle up still bouncing in our legs to make everything a bit more smooth elevating heart rate lifting up bouncing from side to side i'm gonna do this for eight seven six five four three two and one in Going down all the way, get a nice bit of a stretch, open up, and you're gonna turn this into a V for victory. Slowly down, lifting up, reaching up. And engage your core, bring it up. So the first block in just a few seconds is gonna be a pulse-focused core ab area. So in just a little while, we're gonna start out doing one, round of the mountain clapper 50 seconds on and 10 seconds for the next one get up to center here and then we're going to continue into a plank split hop wide leg run and plyo twist and do remember we're only going to do each exercise for one round so i'm going to put the time on here for the 50 seconds Get ready for the mountain climber. So down, hands down here, lifting those knees up towards your chest and feel that engagement in your core. And one of the each exercises, and then we're gonna go straight into some core exercises, body weight strength exercises. So a great way to get that full body covered here in a great efficient workout. Ready for the mountain climber. So bring those knees up. Just look a little bit ahead of you. Make sure you have a straight position here in your arms. Sometimes people say, I'm just, I can't keep the stability here. Yes, I know it's because you don't get the weight up on your arms. You need to go up here to get those feet moving. So you gotta work for the 50 seconds, but only for one round, saying goodbye to the mountain climber in just a few seconds. So push it hard, and then we have 10 seconds to get ready for the plank split hop. So moving in here, just think about it this way. I'm only gonna do this once. So bring it up, inhaling and exhaling. So it just does something to your mind when you know you're only gonna repeat it once. Six seconds more. Inhale and exhale, two and one. Go down on your forearms, and we're gonna do a plank split hop. And we're gonna do that for the 50 seconds. Five, zero, two, and one. So don't pipe with your buttocks. Stay down in a straight position. So you're hitting your core and your abs as you do this plank. So in a few seconds, we're gonna get up and do white leg run, engaging our oblique muscle. Only doing it once. And then we have the plyo twist again pulse up and core movement so you're sort of like warmed up in your core when you go further on for the strength exercises so keep it on for another 20 seconds engaging pushing in and out and we only got this once and we only have 10 seconds before we're going to stand up be affected on your breathing try the best you can three two and one 10 seconds to get up and get going with the wide leg run. Only for one round, <laughs> do remember that. Arms up, tight arms, strong arms, and let's go. If this is too much, you can go bouncing here, bring that elbow down. I do know it's usual the pulse exercise, sort of like killing people, but you can only be better by doing what you wanna be better for. So it, you just have to do it as, as good as you can. So bring arms up and bring legs up. So maybe you can go for 10 seconds here, and maybe you need to go here for 10 seconds, and you're gonna continue doing this, and someday you'll find out you can do the full 50 seconds. I promise you, everybody have a start, so keep it on here. We have one more 
pulse exercise in just a few seconds and then we're going to move on for the four minute of a strength block three two and one we're gonna do the plural twist. And the reason why we're gonna do this is because we get a short of breath, we're gonna push those muscle fibers and we're gonna twist our spine so we get that work in our core. Let's go. So twisting the legs one direction, arms in the opposite, and we're gonna turn it here. <sighs> Inhaling and exhaling. So twisting around your spine, pushing it. This is your final pulse sequence regarding this area and we're going to move on for the strength block in just a few seconds so bring it up 25 seconds 20 seconds bring it up or you can do an ordinary twisting and you can also go for the walk so i do know it's a bit hard to push yourself for four minutes but you will manage five seconds three two and you're gonna lie down you're gonna continue core focus straight we're gonna do a 100 lifting ourselves up pushing that lower back down let's go bring it up here if this is too much you can just bend your knees the most important thing is that you have that lower back tightly into the ground so arms up here if you have a neck issue first you try to move a little bit further up Instead of lying down here, you're going to lift yourself up. If this is bad enough, you can put your hand behind your head, but please try to shuffle between your right and left arm. So you have that lower back pushed down to the ground because you're going to tighten up your core. And you know what? You're only going to do this once. So we're going to move on for a number two which is going to be a roll up exercises so keep on pushing that lower back down well knowing that you only have it for one round four three two and you have 10 seconds before we move on to roll out up roll out here we put that lower back down chin is in we're going to lift ourselves up straight position slowly down yep so let's go so pushing it down leaning forward up for a straight position so rounding again so pushing down make sure that you feel it in your app and your core area so don't use your head don't use your arms but if it's a little bit too hard to get up you can always go down slightly pushing in with your elbows so please don't do this it will just make you uh, look like the tower of uh, pizza uh, you know uh, not straight up building so we're going to push it back down we're going to lean forward like a roll up if you know about pilates pushing it down squeezing reaching up for one round and one round only here we go we're going to do a double leg stretch so we're going to keep those knees in and we're going to straighten them out and come back in again i will show you modifications so you let's go reaching up pushing that lower back down if this is too much you can go with your hands behind your head you can go in here and you can go out here straightening position and do this or you can go with a little less of a movement in here and down here but you could actually go with a single leg stretch as well so 25 seconds pushing yourself doing this only you know it one around that exact helps me to get even in a more focused movement 14 seconds before we move on for a, a third so bring it in and bring it out five seconds four three two and bring it in here turn around for a body twist so down on your forearms you're gonna lie down and you're gonna twist and you can do this from your toes and you can do this let's go from your knees so twisting and turning so engaging that core area so you had the 100 you had the roll up you had the double leg stretch and now the fourth exercise for the body twist so that doing that for one round and you only had 30 seconds left in a short while we're gonna get, go up and do lower body focused pulse exercises so keep on focus on 20 seconds here to go if you need a rest you're just gonna pause me and come back 
do the best possible you do the mind and the muscle connection chin is in twisting and feel your oblique muscle pushing it down back into center equal amount on each bring it down here here we go so we're gonna go with the pulse focused core here sorry lower body so we're gonna do jump lunges and only for one round let's go so bring it up and buttocks back i know it's 50 seconds but you know i know it's only one round so we have the jump lunges we have the jump squat we have some narrow jumps and we have some shuffle touchdown so four different kind of exercises moving on to a string don't you just love it so pushing it back 25 seconds so if you feel like you it's kind of a little bit of a nice way of moving with the pilates then i have different kind of workouts here for the pilates but with no pulse exercises so lots of different kind of workouts here all for free for you to use eight seconds bring it back and lifting it up push your buttocks back and here we are ready for jump squat so you're gonna go down and lift yourself up if too much go down and push yourself up with not that much of a jump two and one bring it up <sighs> squeezing or maybe you want to go up pushing those arms up and above shoulder level to get your heart rate up and beating jump squat you have 35 seconds left and you're only going to do it once and you're halfway before we do the strength for our lower body so inhaling and exhaling stay up nice and tall bring it up only 18 seconds left and you can always do some jogging on the spot you do know that if you've been here before with me the most important thing is to keep yourself going five seconds yes we are ready for a narrow jump we're going to touch down and we're going to reach up so five more seconds one round here four three two and let's go so up with those arms inhaling exhaling so you know you should try to get lower down to the ground because we're tagging that lower body you should feel your legs you should feel your glutes working pushing yourself and you know this is our third exercise out of the four you have one pulse exercise left before we're gonna lie down and do some glute work so let's go with the narrow jumps stay up with your chest push your butt back only 10 seconds left reaching and push it back four three two yes so we're gonna do some shuffle touch down down here into a squat jumping jumping squat your fourth and final pulse exercise for lower body let's go bring it down shuffle shuffle and if you don't have that much space you can go down up down up but else you're gonna move and when you go over here you don't get a good tight buttocks by doing this you only get a sore lower back you need to squat it down stay down stay ready <sighs> pushing back and you're going to stay up straight with your chest so you got to keep moving i know you can do it pushing yourself hard and we only have 15 seconds left for the fourth exercise so you gotta go lie down in just eight seconds you can do it <sighs> pushing it and you're gonna lie down we're gonna do a glute bridge arms crossed and we're gonna go up the first one we're just gonna do an ordinary glute bridge up and down yep so let's go make sure that you engage your core in that squeeze you are going to engage your glute muscle and your pelvic floor so on the way up you're going to do that a little bit of a flexion in your lower back and on the way you're going to do extension so you get that twisting up and down pushing up and away from your heels relax in your upper body because this is going to be the next block with upper body our last and final 
build up. So squeezing up. Inhale. Boom, boom. And exhale. Pushing and fill your glute muscle for more seconds. Yes. The next one, we're going to stay up and we're going to do that glute bridge pump. So we're only going to do the final 15 centimeters, 15% 15 of the exercise. Yes, let's go pushing. So just a little bit down, not all the way down and up, but we're going to stay up for the pump. Make sure you feel it just as much as your right glute as your left glute and opposite. Relax your upper body, your neck, your head. And this is a good way to do the pelvic floor engagement, the little bit more quick and fast engagement. So squeezing up we go, down again and inhale and exhale. Keep it moving for a final 14 seconds. Bring it up and we're going to turn around in just a few seconds. Squeezing, stay put, stay up. And we're going to turn around. We're going to do the front lift, single leg and back. We're going to do the both legs. So we're going to go up here. Up we go. Single, single, single. And we're going to do that now. Single up. Feel that squeeze in your glute. Engaging your core. Up we go. This is gonna. This is our third exercise. In a few seconds, we're gonna lift up both, and then we finished up the lower body focus block. Moving on for pulse exercise for our upper body. So keep moving. Twenty five seconds. Single, single. Nose is pointing down. Easing up your neck. Easing up your head. 15 seconds. Make sure you feel it every single repetition, not just up uh, and uh. you need to go all the way up through and feel that glute be activated. Equal amount and a little bit of a break. And we're gonna move on with both legs. If it's more comfortable for you to do it with straight knees, you just go ahead. The way you feel it the most, knees out to the side, let's go. Double leg here. So relax your upper body because this is going to be what we're going to do. Upper body pulse focused exercise in just a few seconds. So no rush. Fill every single repetition. Squeeze that glute. Pushing it up, pushing it down. And you have 28 seconds and I know you can complete it. So you got to go up. We're going to do some burpees in just a few seconds. Ten, 20 more seconds. Feel it. Both legs up. If you have to surrender, you can go single leg, but just try to keep that glute on fire. 10 more seconds. And we're gonna go for another five, four, three, two, and up we go. The first exercise for the upper body, we're gonna do burpees with a push up. So down here, pushing up and up again. Chest is not touching the ground. Let's go. So up here, slowly down, bring it in for a squat again. Jumping up, down to a squat, bring it in. So burpee, keep going. Burpee is actually a full body workout, but we're gonna do that push up so you're engaging with your upper body as well. In a few seconds, keep it on. I know you can do it. Only 28 seconds left, only one round. We're gonna do a burpee to a push up, but we're gonna go all the way flat down with our chest. And then we have two more exercises after that one. So bring it up. Arms in. Engaging. Pushing it up for another seven seconds. Yes. You want to break. So the next one, we're going to jump up as before. We're going to go all the way down, lifting hands up. Back again, up. And let's go. Jumping up. Out to state position. Hands out. Lifting up again. And make sure that when you go from that plank position up and down, you have that straight line of a plank. A plank doesn't go like this. A plank go in a straight position. This is your final burpee. You have 38 seconds left. You go all the way up there and say hi with your hands before you move back into the next repetition. We are gonna do some 
sprinter in a running position, 15 seconds using our arms and upper body, and then we have one more. So up we go, all the way down high. Bring it up again, lifting up one more repetition, and bring it up. We're gonna go down on our hands. We're gonna do sprinter legs. So we're gonna go up here, swinging those arms right and left. Let's go now. So arms up, sort of like you're gonna do a handstand because if you do and put your weight up on your hands, it's much easier to get those sprinting legs into play because you're gonna, just gonna swing the legs forward and back. And you know what? You're only gonna do it once, so keep it moving. And you only have one pulse exercise left after this one. I am keeping an eye on you. I know you can do it. You will feel great when you're done. So pushing yourself only for 18 seconds more. Push it, push it, push it. If not for you, then do it for me. Inhaling and exhaling. Of course, listen to yourself. And you're gonna push it and you're gonna push it. And we only have one pulse exercise left. And then we're gonna do some strength with the upper body two and one you're gonna go in for a tabletop we're gonna stay here and we're gonna kick it here so this is still our pulse sequence three two one and lifting up here engaging your upper body bouncing a bit in your arms chin is in and you're gonna kick it like you never kicked before you're gonna push yourself well knowing that this is your final pulse exercise for today Inhale, exhale, positive thoughts up in your mind. You can do a lot more than you think you can do. Don't let your brain fool you. Just try to push yourself again. Of course, I don't know you, so you should look after for yourself. So you only have 18 seconds left, and then we're gonna move on for the strength block. So we're gonna kick it up here, inhaling and exhaling. So bouncing, bouncing, <sighs> lifting it up. Inhale and exhale. Yes, beautiful. We are gonna turn this into a, a, a push up here. So we're gonna go up on our hands for that strength. Push up here and go down. 50 seconds lift. So reaching and bring it up. So arms are in to that good position here. And you're gonna push it away and you're gonna bring it up again. And in just a few seconds, we are gonna do some a rotation in our upper body so feel that reach in our upper body so slowly down you can always go down on your knees and continue but you do know you only have one round left to do so so bring it up and inhale and exhale for another 10 seconds <sighs> slowly down five more seconds keep it on and all the way down we're gonna do up here rotation up and all the way down again four seconds and one round let's go nose pointing down up and do the rotation twisting back to center up we go so make that turn up and slowly down and bring it up and back again squeezing your glutes do that turn make sure you have an equal amount on each side bring it up and slowly down again four seconds and here we are and we're gonna go up for diagonal lift so we're gonna bring it up here and we're gonna stay in center three two and one so engage your core if it's too much with your feet up then you're just gonna lift that arm up opposite and move it and when we have completed this one we only have one uh, leg uh, one exercise left we're gonna do some swimming lifting ourselves up for the final uh, exercise so bring it up in that diagonal lift inhaling exhaling both arms or legs 
if possible or else just your arm up and down so stay put for another 15 seconds up we go nose pointing down four three two and one so final exercise we stay put up here doing the swimming if not possible then you can do it with your hands down three two and let's stay up here final exercise engaging that full area inhaling and exhaling and keep it on lifting yourself up i know you can do it because you're going to be done in just a few seconds so lifting yourself up or do the modification here nose pointing down up and engaging upper body and also cool i know 15 seconds Swimming, 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 a classic Pilates exercise. Five seconds, keep arms straight, four, three, two, and one. Push your buttocks back and relax and give yourself a high five. So get that into position here. Great, so I will put a link on top and below here for you to do some stretching. So uh, I hope you got something out of this. And as I said, if you like those Pilates sequins, that will be the 100 and the swimming and the roll up and the dog leg stretch, then you can go and have a look. Just go into the search of different kind of playlists and you will find a Pilates class. So uh, go and do a little bit of a stretching. Maybe just gonna do your favorite exercises. Maybe you wanna follow the link and do that with me. Or else I hope you will shuffle around on my channel. I upload once a week. I'm a full-time full job. So if you go and have a look, you can find all different kind of workouts here just for you to use all for free. Hit the subscribe button, leave me a comment, and I would love to get back to you. So just a little bit of a life hack before I leave you is start out by you smiling for five seconds in the morning. You wake up, you put a five second smile on your face, and feel the chemistry in your body. It can only be a good day if you start your, your day with a five second smile. So until I see you next time, just being that said, stay happy, stay healthy and stay strong. Take good care, bye.